and this Circuits of the Past video will show you the abandoned Imperia rooftop test track in Nezonvaux, Belgium. Imperia was a Belgian car manufacturer from 1906 through to 1948. They started in Liege, which is not too far from the famous Spa-Francorchamps circuit, although that's another story. <laughs> in 1907, the company moved to the nearby village of Nezonvaux in the municipality of Trues. In 1928, they built their own test track around and on top of the factory buildings. The track was little more than one kilometre long in length and is one of only three rooftop test tracks in the whole world. The only other rooftop test tracks were on Fiat's Lingotto factory, which opened in 1923, and the Chrysler factory in Buenos Aires, which opened in 1928. In 1948, Imperia stopped as a brand and only assembled standard Vanguard cars under licence. But after Standard decided to set up a new factory in Belgium, the old Imperio factory had to close its doors in 1957. Factory buildings can still be seen in Nezonvaux and part of the test track that was built on the roof. The other part has sadly been demolished. In June 2023, Hermann Nischmeyer, the founder of this YouTube channel and website circuitsofthepast.com, explored the site and took footage of his walk through the remains of the old rooftop test track. My name's Simon Smith and I voice over the videos, but don't go anywhere. <laughs> I've got a YouTube channel called uh, High Plane Games if you're interested. Now, we're on one of the two higher banked 90 degree corners. On the other side of the oval test track was the long 180 degree corner. As you can see, this place is extremely run down. It was actually a bit scary to walk on the old rooftop test track, knowing that there's just empty space below. Every now and then, you can hear Herman stamping to check whether or not the surface is still firm enough to walk on. I hope you didn't have a big breakfast, Herman. I would have been absolutely cacking myself. <laughs> From here, Herman didn't really trust the roof much longer and decided that it was better to walk back and try and enter the other banked corner from the other side of the factory. The things Herman does for this journal. Sadly though, this turned out to not be possible because the route to it was blocked by a really steep wall of sand. Now we'll take a walk along the old factory buildings. As you can see, these buildings are also in really bad condition and it just simply wasn't safe to enter them. So as we take a look at the remains of the old rooftop test track, we're going to wave goodbye to the abandoned Imperia factory. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel for more memories of bygone circuits of the past. You can also visit the website circuitsofthepast.com for more details about lost racetracks, and you feel like this one will be forever lost in the not too distant future. There you can download a free book of seven abandoned tracks that you can visit legally. Leave the illegal exploring in Indiana Jonesing to Herman. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.